Hey there, how's it going? Coach Chris Wilson here in the very hot critical bench compound. That's right, it is summertime and I'm a sweating. All I have to do is pretty much come out here, lift a finger, and I start pouring. But sweating is good. Don't let anybody tell you it's not. So I'm not here to talk to you about sweating. I'm here to talk to you about growing your biceps that seemingly will not grow no matter how much time and energy you put into them. I'm gonna go over three big mistakes that most of us make, that I've made in the past, and the, that has nothing to do with genetics. Certainly, good genetics will allow those biceps maybe to look more shapely, uh, to have a better looking peak, but ultimately, if you're focused on these three things I'm gonna talk about, your arms will grow, your biceps will grow, no matter what you're starting with, okay? So, number one, what I wanna talk about is not enough focus on your back. And what I mean by that is, we all know that the, the, the arms are really just the secondary movers when it comes to you know, pulling weight off the ground or doing a pull up, right? You're not just doing that stuff with your arm strength. You're doing that because you have big back muscles to do most of the work. So if you're spending more of your time training your back, doing those bent over rows, doing those pull-ups, doing those deadlifts, and other good supplemental movements, your arms will absolutely be impacted by that. So instead of having an extra arm day every week, do an extra back workout every week, okay? The, wor the weights that you're working with are greater, okay? So this puts more demand, more stress on the body. When, when the body goes through that, you have a better anabolic reaction to that, okay? Your hormones are working more in your favor, okay? As long as you're doing the other things right, like getting good rest, getting good sleep, getting good nutrition, of course, right? Those are the essentials. If you're not doing that stuff, nothing's gonna grow. So focus more on the back, okay? Do more back training and you absolutely will st start to step in the right direction of growing those arms with all that extra pulling movement, okay? Number two is the one-dimensional approach. So with the one-dimensional approach is what most of us, and mostly men, do is the, the big mistake. We go into our training facility, our, our, our gym, wherever we're working out, and we're doing the same routines over and over and over again. Uh, let's take three of your favorite arm exercises that you like to do. Okay, great. I'm glad that they're your favorites and I'm sure they're really good. But is that the only type of movement that you're doing for your arms? Are you doing that repeatedly? Are you doing that every time you train your arms? You're always gonna do barbell curl, uh, some type of dumbbell curl, and some type of cable curl. Okay, that's not a bad approach, but if you're only doing the same three movements every time you train your arms, then how can you expect to start to see real change? To start to see those arms take a different shape or get to the next level, start to grow, and you're not going to. That's, that's my point there. So what you need to do is break out of the mold that you've created for yourself and start to research a little bit. What are some different ways I can use the barbell? What are some different ways I can use the cable machine? Instead of lifting from down here, maybe if I set it up here, what's a different way I can position my body and do a dumbbell curl, okay? start to incorporate some of these new movements in, not to say that you can't do the other ones that you prefer or like the most, but training and working out isn't always supposed to be, you know, 100% fun, okay? Yes, you're supposed to enjoy elements of it, but hard work and getting to a, a, a point where you, where you want your body to, to get to isn't always fun. Okay, and what that requires is some extra effort on your end to start to find out some of these new options, these new alternative movements that you can start to implement into your routines. So now we've fixed the fact that you're doing more back training in your week to week uh, training. Now you are opening your eyes to different ways to work your arms with, bar with free weights, with machines, with cables, right? So the number three element to this is working the muscles through the extreme range of motion, okay? We're talking here, of course, about the biceps, and this went off for me like a big flashing green light. 
Ben Pakulski is somebody that's well respected in the bodybuilding world. We did a lot of video content with him several years ago and I learned quite a bit from him. And he used to talk about the bicep. You know, if you really want to grow your arms, you got to put your arm through extreme ranges of motion and stay there and really work at those extremes. Because what most guys end up doing is we like to work the, the arms where we feel strongest, right? We like to stand up and do barbell curls, stand vertically. We like to sit and just do, you know, traditional dumbbell curls. We like to stand in front of the cable machine and, and do pretty much a traditional curl of some sort from the cable machine or, or a plate loader machine or pin loader machine, right? What we need to do is start to position our body, position our arms in different ways so that we're attacking the muscle at, it, at its extreme where we're weaker, okay? This does not require a lot of weight. What this requires is a lot of mind-muscle connection and a lot of extra effort on your part where you're doing these lifts that don't always feel so darn great because you don't feel very strong and you feel maybe a little bit uh, intimidated or, or a little bit uh, you know, uneasy or uncomfortable. But that's where growth happens, right? In life, that's when the most growth happens is when we're kind of putting ourselves where we're most vulnerable. So you gotta put your arm in these extreme ranges of motion because the arm it goes through a pretty amazing range of motion. Your arm can go way back, you know, when we're talking about biceps, it can go way back behind you with your, with your arm pronated all the way to being up behind your head with your hand fully supinated. And you have to start to train that way when working your biceps. The cable uh, system, a free motion machine or anything that's, that's cable is a great way to hit those extremes. So my, my point here is you have to start to, to do all three of these things that I'm hitting on in order to really see the full potential of your arms, okay? So we got to train the back more often, more frequently with a more, more variety of movements, okay? Then we have to start to do uh, you know, more variety in our arm training. And that's not just biceps. How about your forearms and your triceps, right? Because if you want your arms to fully develop, you gotta, you know, work the other muscles in the arms in, 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 with all the, the variety of movement that's available for them as well, right? So you start to do that. And then thirdly, you start to really stress the muscle at its weakest points and maybe using a cable uh, machine to do that. To, to effectively start to grow that muscle. And, and really, like I said, don't overwhelm yourself with weight. Overwhelm yourself with, with reps and with how long you're stay, putting yourself in that extreme range of motion. Thank you so much for watching the Critical Bench YouTube channel. Be sure to give us a thumbs up. Drop us some comments or questions below. Click that subscribe button right there. Check out this amazing seven worst testosterone killers free report and another video from us. We'll see you soon.